quality though of this pits we're gonna call this the the schittsburg gear wrench <laughs> the schitt's gear what up guys super the tool addict Woo! <laughs> what do you think here henry come on baby let's dance baby let's dance a little in your pants dance a little in your pants dance a little in your pants Woo! <laughs> sorry i just had to get up off my jazzy real quick or my roller chair anyways guys we got a great video want to fire you up right away um we got a great video today we've got the holy grail of sockets we're going to talk about some rebrand stuff we're going to go right into this though let me get this i, I keep this thing in my pocket so uh you're gonna want to see this and stick around yeah that's right uh now gear wrench supposedly has launched an investigation so let's hop into this video get right after it what do you say all right so amongst us right here we have a plethora of 10 millimeter sockets and the reason why i have a plethora of 10 millimeter sockets except for these two uh is because I want to explain to people once again what rebranding does. Okay, this socket, um, this is a manufactured, this is a rebrand, this is a rebrand. So you have basically these two sockets right here that are manufactured, and of course, we have others. Okay, that's we're not going to get into semantics about other companies. So we have two to every one of these now. The reality of it is, obviously, we have two impact sockets, and they're going to have some differences to them. Uh, as you can see right here, this is very flat. There's no there's no recess in it. And then, once again, we go over to this one, and there's a recess. Then we can look in the broaching inside of here. And these are all 3H drive, by the way. We can see. I can't even see in there. Can you guys see in there? Let me get the flashlight to this. Give me a little bit more light on this. My eyes aren't the broaching is very deep on this. Let's see if I can get it in there in the camera. Very, very deep. Now, inherently, that doesn't necessarily cause a socket to be less strength, have less strength, but uh if you're looking at really getting into it, it it, it clearly does. But this is also a lot beefier on the exterior, so it's kind of a moot point. Now, for this socket right here, the one thing I'm literally talking about why we're going into this is if you look at this this is a 3h drive 10 millimeter pittsburgh gear wrench socket that's right double stamped made on the same machine made on the same machine but double stamped now uh one of the questions that came up in some of the other videos that i talked about this uh because there's a lot of people that talked about how gear wrench was absolutely so great and i know apex tool company is one of the biggest dirtiest uh players in the tool game and in fact i mean there's a, a number of them and and the reality of it is there's a lot of rebrands out there okay a lot of companies that are making tools and they're having them made in a manufacturing facility where this easily could happen to multiple companies it could happen to tecton it could happen to capri it could happen to vim it could happen to multiple and in fact it has happened husky has been under the gun matco has been under the gun. I mean, there's several companies that have been, uh, that have launched these type of deals. Now, you do see that this has some broaching or that, that has a recess here in here. Um, it has four sides for the retention on the ball detent, de detent. Is this socket a terrible socket? No, but it's not my socket of choice. And let me show you why. On a quality socket such as this Mac, and we're only going to use this Mac because if I say the word, if I say the S word, that will literally blow uh, Harbor Freight fanboys all the way up into a full frenzy where a lot of them will probably have to have safe spaces. I just, I don't know why. I, they're just tools, guys. I mean, at the end of the day, they're just tools. And a lot of these, I don't know what Snap or Harbor Freight puts in the water, but uh, those guys that uh, are Harbor Freight diehards, they just, yeah, they're out of control. But anyways, this broaching you see is a lot shallower. And what that does is i've done this video before you see how this bolt starts in there a lot shallower 
as a professional mechanic, the name of my game to make money and be efficient is to get a bolt started faster. Now, let's say this was a nut, for instance, and I was trying to get this into a blind area and start it. And let's say I was going to use this socket. There's not so it's not so shallow. Uh, this is a gear inch mid link socket. Not too bad because it's a gear inch mid link. Um, but if I was to use this one, we can't. Uh, another one, not so bad. Um, and then you have now the brand is really irrelevant, but I want you guys to see. This is the problem with rebranding cheap sockets. Um, you're losing that ability to reach the depth uh, of getting that bolt started. And now you're going to fight it. And a lot of us mechanics that have been doing this for a long time realize this. That's why we buy these sockets. Now, this, this brooch wouldn't be uh, passable for me. Honestly, that's why I have the Mac socket. Because that's exactly what I'm looking for. And a nut. Now... This also can be a problem. I know some guys are going to say this also can be a problem because of that brooch being higher. You could run into some clearance issues of a, a bolt going through there and not wanting uh, a shoulder being too high on, uh, let's say, forward uh, power stroke. The glow plugs are definitely an issue. Also, Volvos, the coolant temp sensors on the S70s have an issue with the shouldering being. I, I ran into multiple issues. But the bigger thing is, is a bunch of people ask me, is this a 3 8 or a 10 millimeter? Um, we're going to get to that in just a second, so stick around if you're wanting to see the conclusion of that. I'm just trying to get through a couple things. Now, this is a manufactured socket from a company, Top Tool. They are out of Taiwan. They manufacture their own sockets. Now, if you had to ask me, in my opinion, what the best brand of tools are, I'm going to give you a just a baseline and no specific order japan germany usa then taiwan and then we can it really doesn't matter after that the relevance is kind of uh not significant after that and the reason why is because you're getting tools made from the same manufacturer in all of these brands minus a few companies that actually build their own you see the difference there? So, And then people talk about, let's just use Mac, for instance, you're paying for the name. Well, how much are you paying for the name? If you actually look at a Harbor Freight gear wrench socket, which I'll try to throw a picture up, a Pittsburgh socket's like $2.50, $2 and a gear wrench is $5.99. So you're paying for a gear wrench name too. And not only that, the profit margin for the gear wrench is significantly higher for the company. And when people talk about getting bamboozled and say that people that these bigger tool companies that have higher priced tools are ripping you off, I can almost guarantee you because of the amount of cost that they have in overhead with hiring the workers from America versus a sweatshop worker where you're paying somebody's 10-year-old child to stamp these out. I mean, I've seen the videos of these uh, some of these companies. Now, obviously, Taiwan's not as bad. Taiwan's actually a really nice really good company or a really good country and they really have a lot of nice stuff but if they're coming from china uh you definitely have to wonder now if you're willing to let your kid i've got a job I, I, if you can convince the government to allow children to work and you want to lower prices on american-made tools i'm pretty sure a manufacturer out there is because none of these companies are you know they're not scared but if you want if we can get the government to reduce our standards and work lab, labor force we could probably get that going here in america uh, if you guys see that don't have any morals, because that's what I see a lot of with a lot of people who get upset is, is they're only concerned about the price. And that's the number one complaint I get on my channel is the price of everything. So, uh, yeah, uh, if, if the price is a concern, then maybe you should start lobbying to the government and actually asking them, hey, can we uh, lower our labor standards and allow 10 year olds to work in factories and 40 hour work weeks? I mean, cause <laughs> that's exactly what you're paying for when you're buying something from overseas not every company and i know there's going to be that that select few that are not going to be happy uh with that comment but listen guys once again it's just tools okay first of all i'm just trying to help you guys understand that when you're buying something uh when you're if you got to spend if you're wanting to save some money it's okay to save money it's okay but just understand when you're buying something from some company that there's the same manufacturers the same 
company that's manufacturing most likely is making the same sockets. There's different specs. I will say that this is a Sun X. Um, this is an old bench top. That's why it's rusty. It's the only standard socket I could find right off the hip cuff. This is another gear wrench. Obviously, it has some different markings there. And this is a Matco, which is a little bit higher quality made. Now, I want to talk about that real quick because we're looking here and it, you can clearly see the differences in these sockets. The Matco over here has a better finish. It has an obvious deeper or a better recess here. Uh, your indentations are cut more cleaner and it's only two-sided which is uh it's got for the detent right here and that's that's how impact sockets are this isn't it's something that saves money honestly it's just better for impact sockets to get on and off because most of them use it hog rings but the sun x one and you can see here this the sun x does the same exact thing so it's not really a it's not really a cost effective savings there's just that's just not it but the sun x one obviously has a deeper brooch as i showed you with this now it, this is considered these are both deep sockets mind you granted the matco is a little bit shorter would that make a difference i uh, doubt it that's not really the point but if you get pittsburgh involved most likely pittsburgh's probably being made somewhere's near the same factory now there's several socket manufacturers and i went over this before i'm pretty positive that sun x and uh, pittsburgh are not being made in the same factory matco and sun x are not being made in the same factory for the adv stuff and we'll honestly, to find out all that is not worth my time to go down that road. Let's look at the socket quality, though, of this Pitts. We're going to call this the, the Schittsburg gear wrench. <laughs> the Schitt's gear. You guys name this socket. Uh, and by the way, once again, I did get a, I'll try to maybe put a screenshot. Uh, gear wrench has an investigation launched on this. So let's uh, let's look at the sizing on this and find out. Is this, in fact, a 10 millimeter, or is this a 3.8? Because it's very interesting. Now, I'm going to give you the first real dead giveaway of what it is uh, super quickly. Like, So this is a Mac 10 millimeter, which I know is true. There's a 10 millimeter bolt. And so we're pretty positive that it's 3.8, just based off that. And I can tell almost by looking at that. And if you can in the comments, too. A lot of you, which, by the way, I'm sure somebody has already said it by now, but you can honestly see the sizing difference right off the bat. So I knew that by looking at it, that the uh, that this was a 3 8 because I could tell that the hole was a little bit smaller. Now, reach ratchet fits in there snugly, and we might as well use a good one. So let's bust out the Cornwell. And the Cornwell seems to fit on there. Very nicely. So I would say in all intents and purposes, fairly confident because it, this is a 3.8 socket right here. Pretty much identical sockets. I also want you to pay attention to the fact this is a, like a 20-year-old Kmart socket. This one is here. And uh, look at the identical. They're, they're making the sockets the exact same as what they used to. I mean, if, if I had to say uh, <laughs> that this was the exact same socket and you took the names off them, I would absolutely have to say they are. I mean, the broaching is spot on the same. Everything's the same on it. And this is a bench top socket made in Taiwan. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, I think I'm going to wrap it up with that because I'm not scientific enough to go on any further with it. But uh, I thought it would be interesting to share some quick measurements and talk about this socket. Show you guys some of the... Uh, tomfoolery going on in the tool industry and uh just because they uh have a different name on them doesn't mean you're not paying for that name for this socket it is absolutely 100 percent being stamped over a pittsburgh um it is what it is fellas so anyways guys remember like comment share subscribe ring that bell remember keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.